We've extended this, this line of work um, to other places like South Africa where we've expanded the notion of, of the couple or the, let's say the dyad. In reality, when it comes to support for adherence, one doesn't have to be a romantic or a primary partner. One can be just another, a significant person in, in your life. So we are doing this work in South Africa where there actually is a healthcare policy for people who are initiating antiretroviral therapy that they identify a treatment support partner or they call it a treatment buddy to come to the clinic and meet with the counselor to be to hopefully and potentially being a support partner. So here we more actively engage those partners to go through the, all of the sessions of the intervention to commit to working with their friend or their spouse or their, their family member to help them be a support partner. The other thing that we're doing in South Africa in expanding this work is, is taking what was a, a manualized intervention, paper and pencil manual, that takes the facilitator through the intervention, we, we've turned that into a multimedia uh, intervention. That means that the components of the intervention can be translated into different languages, first of all, but different metaphors and images. So we're using a lot of visual imagery. We're using videos and lots of engaging interactive activities that are programmed into a small laptop, a small netbook. It can be done on a, a small tablet where counselors can work with patients and their support partners to look at videos together, to learn together, to engage in these interactive activities via the use of a computer. And, and we find, we're finding that it's a, a very visually engaging way to learn about HIV, about treatment, about the importance of adherence. And I think this is particularly relevant when you're working with populations that may have low literacy levels um, in terms of the written word. And I think images can be very powerful ways of teaching. Masuva Kenny can be especially useful in a resource constrained setting because of the reality that um, a lot of we refer to them as lay counselors. People who may not be highly professionally trained are turned to. It's a whole cadre of workers that are used to do adherence counseling with patients. Because the reality is that physicians and nurses don't have the time to spend a lot of time with each patient to talk about adherence. They're just very, they're seeing thousands of patients. And, and I'm working in communities where thousands of patients are, are being initiated on antiretroviral therapy every month. So these counselors, they also have a high burden of having to counsel a lot of patients. They are trained to do this. However, however they are then left very much often on their own to, to do the counseling that they do. And they may feel at times, and they've told us that they often feel inadequate to be able to, to give all the messages they need to give to their patients. What's useful about the multimedia intervention is that it's a, very, it's a guided tool. It actually guides the counselor and helps the counselor deliver the messages to the patients and their support partners. That's why the use of images and video and interactive activities and metaphors that the, the local community comes up with to describe how HIV works and medications work is very useful. And again, it's a tool for the counselor. It helps guide them and helps them in a standardized way deliver the important messages that they want delivered to their patients. Masa Kenny is an interactive support tool for HIV treatment adherence counselors in South Africa to use with patients who are struggling to stay on their antiretroviral medication. The tool was created by the HIV Center for Clinical and Behavioral Studies and CCNMTL in collaboration with the University of Cape Town and HIV care providers and patients in South Africa, supported by a grant from the National Institute of Mental Health. Masa Kenny consists of six sessions, and each session includes several activities. These activities are designed to teach patients of how HIV and antiretroviral treatment affect health, and to build problem solving and social support skills that patients can use to overcome barriers to treatment adherence. For each section of the support tool, a suggested script is provided for the counselor. Several of the activities have interactive components. These activities are flagged. The flag 
tells the counselor when to share the computer screen with the patient. The first activity in Masova Kenny is to help the patient evaluate their social network and identify a treatment partner who will be supportive. This treatment partner will attend the following five sessions with the patient. Here, the patient writes in the names of people in their social network. They mark off which people know the patient's HIV status, and they mark off which people can provide them with practical support, like food, childcare, and transportation. In the pill activity, the patient, their treatment partner, and the counselor review the patient's drug regimen. It is important to make sure that both the patient and the treatment partner understand the regimen. The patient selects their pills by look or by name. They then show which pills they take in the morning and which at night, and the hours of the day that they take them. In the island activity, the patient can see how HIV, other infections, and their medication regimen affects their health. Here, the patient can move the sliders representing HIV viral load, CD4 count, and opportunistic infections to explore the relationship between them. When ARVs are added to the mix, the patient gains agency. Keeping adherence up keeps the other three factors in a good place. Problem solving is an important skill to improving adherence. In the problem solving activity, the patient watches a video of two friends working through a problem. Then, the patient thinks about their own barriers to adherence and makes an action plan to address any barriers. Masa Kenny is piloting at a clinic outside of Cape Town, South Africa. It is also being used as a learning tool in Columbia courses at the Mailman School of Public Health and other programs focused on health disparities. Learn more about Masa Kenny at ccnmtl.columbia.edu.